morning guys. It is currently 10 past 6 in the morning. Aiden is here. I'm here. You don't want to say hi? Hi. And we're going on a road trip. We're going on a staycation. I feel like we're about to move. I'll talk to you guys in a second when McDonald's drive through. So, as I was saying, we are in the McDonald's. Well, we've been through the McDonald's drive through this morning because I feel like it's rude if you're going on a road trip and you don't get McDonald's breakfast, especially if you leave this early. The sun, it's like in Australia. So, what was I going to say? We've got a four and a half hour drive ahead of us, probably going to take us about five because we obviously want to stop off in between. We're going to... Dartmoor. Are we going to Devon? Uh, near Devon, yeah. Is it not in Devon? In We're Devon. going glamping, which is very exciting. We're going to stay in like a little glamping pod. Did you just burp? Yeah, we're very excited. Obviously, staycations are allowed in England, otherwise we wouldn't be doing this. I'm sure everything will be very safe, and it's only self-catered holidays that are allowed right now, hence why we're allowed to go do this. And um, like hotels and everything else aren't open. But anyway, I got a sausage and egg McMuffin no cheese meal with a hash brown, and Aiden got pancakes and syrups. So I'm gonna have to feed him yeah. whilst he's driving, so I'm gonna do that now. I'll probably catch up with you guys. Yeah, we're on holiday. We're going for two nights as well, so like we've got a decent amount of time away going during the week as well, so it's not even the weekend, so should be nice. Aiden is currently just getting some petrol. It's honestly taken us so long to even get this far. I don't really know like what was happening on the roads, but we started going one way and then the maps changed and brought us back on ourselves. Um so yeah that um that was less than convenient have i think i'm gonna put on some makeup in a second because i'm not vibing with how tired i'm looking aiden just got a cookies and cream and a tuna melt well a cookies and cream frappuccino and a tuna melt panini from starbucks i didn't actually get anything because i thought i actually probably won't drink it all and then i'm just gonna need another wheeze and um, we were gonna go do mini golf this morning um however we weren't gonna really make it in time because we have lunch booked for 12 30 in this really nice place but i found it on TripAdvisor, so hopefully it's nice if we went to mini golf first we wouldn't make it so i think we're gonna go for lunch well i think we're gonna have a little walk around town go for lunch and then go play mini golf and then check into our pod because we can't check into free but yeah very excited and we're about to get going we have just arrived in tavistock i believe it is where we are staying and I feel really um, self-conscious vlogging because it's just hard vlogging after coming out of lockdown however the place is so cute like it's very oldie worldy. we're just having a little walk because we have like just under an hour until yeah there's nothing up here Aiden maybe go this way um yeah we've got like an hour kind of until we have our lunch so we just popped into boots i grabbed a knee support for my knee for when we do lots of walking all of the buildings are very old old school shall we say it's honestly it's so cute around here so we've just come out for lunch aiden's got fish and cheesy chips i've got a chicken mango chutney and mozzarella panini with a side of chips and we're honestly at the most adorable cute place it's got a little river running past and it's nice and sunny and nice and warm which i'm very happy about we have had lunch <laughs> had lunch and we've now come to pissed a, off an old lady yeah we annoyed an old lady by accidentally going onto private land but there was nowhere else for us to turn around in these country roads so we had to ask her for directions to this um mini golf place that we are currently at i'm taking off my coat because it's 15 degrees outside it seems it feels like it's summer i wish i kind of wore um some more summery clothes but i'm not going to take my camera with me just because obviously i'm not taking my coat and it will just be a nuisance if i film anything it'll be on my phone so i do apologize in advance for the poor footage but it is what it i'm is. gonna go and smash it in that mini golf no way it always win glad you got that on camera what? you're saying that i'm gonna smash it mini golf. Yeah. we've just got to the mini golf and um there was no one here. Like it looked like totally empty. You can start playing if you I can't want. Hold it, okay. Oh, I can hold it. And I, like we thought it was closed, 
and then we like called up asked if they were open they were like yeah it's open so we have the um, whole place to ourselves because yeah. i just realized that obviously all kids are at school and only kids come here yeah. but now we're here so we're about to play some mini golf it looks really cute it's like a woodland theme maybe i can get an Instagram or something. You can get a hole in one is what you can get. You've got a hole in get. one. So guys, we've just got out of mini golf. I'm about to add up Work our out. scores. We have got a slush puppy on the way as well. Slush puppy came. Is that, is that good? Mm-hmm. I just have to keep my arm here. Look at the lovely sky. Yeah. 49. Oh, <laughs> you, you, you win. 49. 51. 53. I won. I got 53. I even got 59. Where did I lose it? We lost it. You got six and I mean I got a seven though. Yeah, you I got, got two, two sevens. sevens. I knew I was gonna smash you at it. It's just the last of the one. As per usual. Right, we're gonna enjoy the slushy mm. and then in the sun. Wait. Then it should be time to check in. I couldn't even tell you, but I'm sure it'll be time for us to go to our pod in a second, which is exciting. Guys, we're currently driving through a national park because this is where we're staying. And there's just sheep everywhere. We've got horses. Honestly, they're just living their best life. We're driving with care. Don't worry, guys. Do not stress. Bye. We have just arrived at our glamping pod. It's honestly so nice out here. Like, literally the only thing I can hear is the birds and the sheep and the cows and it's great um so i'm going to show you quickly around the whole thing we're set at langstone manor in tavistock if anyone was wondering yes we um we have some pet chickens tonight well for the next two nights so we're staying in birch and you just can't be stairs <laughs> as i mentioned we seem to have two residential chickens i don't really know what they're up to but they seem friendly enough. You have a little barbecue and then it already comes with outdoor furniture and a little parasol. And then we come in to our little pod. So I'm just gonna pan around for you guys. It's honestly so cute. So first we have a sofa bed here. These do sleep up to four people. Obviously it's only Aiden and I, um, but there is also a sofa bed. We then have a table and chairs with a TV. This is apparently the little heat thermometer, so I did bring a heater, but I'm obviously not gonna need it. And then we have a little kitchenette area, which comes with a kettle, microwave, a fridge, which is a pretty decent size, um, a sink, obviously, and then some like storage space. Obviously, we're only here for two nights, so we're not gonna be making ourselves too much at home. And then the last thing in the room is our bed, which I believe is a double bed. Um, obviously, you bring your own bedding and everything. And finally, we have our bathroom. So this is why I wanted to come into the mega pods instead of just their normal camping pods, because the camping pods are purely just like the shell. There's nothing in them. But obviously, come in here. We have a little bit more things so obviously in here we just have the toilet heated towel rack a little window mirror shelf sink bin but yeah that is everything in the pod and then obviously there's some lights i'm not too sure how the curtains are we will try those out later but i think aiden oh he's not even here yet he's obviously got lost but they have also i don't know if i've mentioned obviously there's normally like communal showers which can't happen right now so they've kind of like separated all of the like the showers in their showering facility for all the glamping pods so like everyone has their own separate shower so that is obviously really useful for us because otherwise we were gonna have to put a camping shower and probably shower in our garden but yeah i'm really excited to be here i think we might like sort out the bed and stuff and then probably go out to sainsbury's buy some food and stuff because yeah, I don't really know what we're going to have for dinner tonight. Oh, here he is. I don't know if we're going to have a barbecue tonight or do that tomorrow night. They do have a little restaurant here that isn't open, but they are doing ready meals. And I feel like I kind of like want to support, you know. They're only £4 each as well. And honestly, <laughs> my boyfriend is currently feeding the chickens cornflakes. You want a chicken? You want a chicken? Want a chicken. You don't... <laughs> They're really aggressive. Yeah, they look it. I don't think I want to hand feed one if I'm honest. Hey, that doesn't hurt. No, he scares me a little bit. Maybe you can do it. Just put your hand up. We'll give you a little. No, Aiden, I can't do you it. You can do Look it. Look at his little legs. Look, he's so close to you. It doesn't hurt at all. You guys are doing it. See. You're doing it. Too. Okay, give me one. Aiden, I'm really scared. Aiden, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. 
Doesn't hurt. It was, he's so aggressive. Let me quickly show you our pod whilst Aiden's feeding the chicken. Um, it's a little bit messy. I haven't finished completely. So obviously I've made the bed. Um, and I've kind of just like unpacked like our kitchen stuff, a little bit of stuff over there, and the bathroom. That's literally yeah. But we're gonna go out to Sainsbury's now once Aiden has finished feeding the chicken. We. I need to find the light. Is there not a light over here? I honestly. No idea. I'm sure there must be a light for this side of the room because I'm not feeling it if I'm being completely honest, but I don't know where it is. Um, however, we have been to Tesco and we bought some stuff for like breakfast and dinner. So we bought, let me give you a little bit of a fridge tour. So we bought some salad dressing ketchup, these chicken skewers. We I'll also have a packet of these for dinner tonight. We're basically just going to have the same dinner tonight and tomorrow night. Some milk vegetable couscous strawberries and some sausages and this is what our dinner is currently looking like so i put aiden's hot dog buns on the side because they're not going to fit on his plate um and then we just have everything cooking outside on our little barbecue that i'm not gonna lie we're having some issues with but we're persevering we probably won't be eating dinner until like nine o'clock though at this rate good morning everyone so it is now obviously the next day and we are currently on our way to, D oh, sorry. to Dartmoor Zoo, which we are very excited about. I didn't really vlog anything else last night. Firstly, because I was honestly shattered, like so tired. And secondly, because we we had a barbecue, but it took us a while, didn't it? It ended up being a microwave. <laughs> I don't know if people are going to hate on me for this, but the sausages just weren't, like, I think that they were cooked, but they just didn't look all right. Do you feel ill this morning? No, we feel fine. We don't have food poisoning, touch wood. I mean, I'm sure it would have hit us by now. So, yeah, we blitzed them in the microwave to kind of get them cooked. And I did Google and it said that you could, so that is what we did. Um, and it tasted all right. It wasn't awful, but then we ended up watching We Bought a Zoo. When I say we, I mean mainly Aiden, because I fell asleep literally as soon as the film got turned on and um yeah we're now on to the zoo no we're now going to the zoo where we that bought a zoo is based on yeah. which is going to be exciting we were really like me. yeah we were really torn between what zoo to go to because obviously there's quite a few around here but then we thought like we bought a zoo it was kind of cool so we should go to that one thanks mate had some cocoa pops for breakfast a coffee we're now ready i curled my hair but i forgot to bring hair and I think for my hair, hairspray is an essential part of life when curling it. Oh my god, they're a little lamb. They're so tiny. They're so cute. I'm currently wearing, uh, this top's from Hollister. I got it years ago though, and I always get so many questions about it. Got a little bralette on from Victoria's Secret. My usual Princess Polly Mum jeans. I've got the bag Ada got me from Marc Jacobs and Minty Trainers. And I also got my coat in the back. But I'm really undecided. What was this? <gasps> oh my god, they've moved. Oh my god, look at them guys. He's scratching himself. I love them. I love horses. Oh my god, look at them all. They're all so tiny. I think I they're Shetland guys. ponies. I don't know. I don't know if they're proper Shetland, but they do seem like a kind of Shetland because they are so freaking cute. Guys, look. I don't know if you can even they see. They always look so sad. <laughs> they are so cute. Look at him. He looks so happy. He's sleeping, I think. He's so fat. So we have just got to the zoo and we are at the meerkats. Where's the meerkat? There's one up there. They're so cute. He's oh, sunbathing. He's sunbathing. He's got the camera. Oh, they make such cute little noises. I think meerkats are one of my favourites. Just sat in the sun, but um, I think I'm actually going to go use a portaloo because I kind of need a wee. But. Nice. You guys can see we're now back in the car. I didn't really vlog much around the zoo because we were just taking it in and looking at lots of animals. And I thought it would be, but it's quite a small zoo. Like we literally did it in an hour and a half. We didn't go to the gift shop. Oh, we didn't go to the gift shop, Aiden. Do you want to quickly go back? It's okay. Sure. Yeah. How sure are you? Yeah. I think they would have had good stuff in there. I really like zoo gift shops. I don't know why, but I just do. How the hell did we forget? Do you want to head back? How did you? I forget? No, it's fine. You sure? Yeah. How sure? I'm very sure. It's not life changing, is it? Okay. But um, I'm a bit upset about that actually. Um, so we 
You can turn around. No, it's fine. It's fine. We're now gonna head into Plymouth because why not? It's only like 12. Literally just gone 12. I think we're gonna try and stop up. Horses. But yeah, we're gonna head into Plymouth, grab some lunch on our way, and yeah, don't really know what we're gonna do the rest of our day. Maybe try and do a nice little walk along the yeah. beach. Maybe there'll be a nice ice cream shop. I think there will be. And yeah, we'll just have to wait and see the day he takes us. I kind of like going places and just kind of walking around and popping into like the little shops and seeing what's around. So yeah, that is the plan, but I'm very hungry. Very, very hungry. Just arrived in Plymouth and yeah. it looks really cute. It does. I've never been to Plymouth before, have you? I, I haven't, I don't know. I went to Paintington with my mum and dad when I was a baby. Pictures of me. Nice. Mm -hmm. But um, we're currently ordering a wags because our plan was for tomorrow was to come into Plymouth, order wags, go eat it like in like their little park that they have near. Um, but then I thought we're basically here already. We're only like ten minutes down the road, so um, we may as well just come today and do that today. And I think tomorrow we're going to go to Exeter, maybe to a different zoo. I'm not too sure right now, but. What sides do you want? That's what I'm choosing at the minute. Oh, I'll update you guys when we have our wags. I'm so excited. I had wags. When did I have wags? Oh no, like a week, over a week ago. That's okay. <laughs> We've just got our wags and we literally have such a great little view for our lunch today. This is called um, Devil's Point. Devil's Point. I don't know if we're actually at the right point, but we're in the area. day before your 22nd birthday. Long time no speak. It has been a while since we last spoke. Um, I would say we've just got back to the pod. We've been back for a little while just chilling after doing our eight and a half thousand steps today which probably isn't a lot to a lot of people but for me someone who sits down all day working it's a lot. Um, However, we're currently just walking up to reception because we need to get some like essentials because they do sell them up there. Like we need bin bags if they have them, more coal, and Aiden wants a fizzy drink. But um, yeah, I mean, I think we've got a nice chilled evening yeah. planned. So we just got back from reception. We picked up everything we needed. We got some more coal. So the barbecue is just starting. Aiden got a Coke, we got a cider, and we also got a Magnum and I got a Twister. However, we're about to start painting because we bought this with us. We've had it for a while and just never really got round to it. Um, so we went into town yesterday. We picked up these canvases. Um, oh my God, I can't get it out. And um, yeah, we're about to start painting. Aiden's trying to tell me about these birds attacking each other. But um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. We're just going to let the creative juices flow. So this is dinner for tonight. I'm honestly really not that hungry after that massive katsu curry that I had. So I'm just going to have one sausage and some of this chicken. And then Aiden obviously has two hot dogs and chicken. I'm going to save this very sad looking sausage um, for a sausage roll tomorrow. And these are what our paintings are currently looking like please this one's mine um i don't know what happened to the sky i tried to make a sunset but it wasn't dry so that is what happened um and this is aiden's he's doing it from um some inspo of our view over there of all the sheep and i'm basing mine off of aiden's tattoo so yeah we're gonna enjoy this now outside whilst the sun is setting for all the mosquitoes that are over here um come and join us so we have just finished our paintings and this one is aiden's he did the landscape of the sheep and then we had some issues with mine i was firstly going to do some like heart pattern and then i went for a a sky and then i went for a quite a boggy night but um yeah this is what mine looks like kind of rubbish but Oh well. Good morning guys. So it is now my birthday and we've had a little Good friend. Good morning chicken. Turn up, he wasn't here yesterday. Hey, there you go. We don't want the door to slam on him. Good yeah. morning chicken. We have a little friend, however, the pod is currently 
looking a little bit questionable. It's very windy today. So I'm just about to straighten my hair quickly. And then we're going to start... Good morning, chicken. And then we're going to start packing up the car and getting ready to leave, which I'm very sad about. But we've had a great time. So we're currently on our way to the zoo. We have a lot of balloons in the back because we don't even know what to do with them. Like, we could have just, like, got rid of them yeah. there. But it's Haven't my birthday to today. So we're going to take them back home however we just stopped off at the petrol station and it was a little wait it was a really cool one actually they had loads, they had loads of um cost machines so we got two hot chocolates aiden got a toffee i got a toffee, toffee. nut spice latte coffee, uh, hot chocolate hot chocolate not my kind cup of tea i got a normal hot chocolate and they had like a jamie oliver So we, Aiden got a mushroom and chicken. chicken slice and I got a sausage roll and it says we're not going to be at the zoo till 11.30 and I wanted to get there for 10.30 so we're a little bit behind schedule. Oh. We're a little bit behind, we probably won't get home till really late tonight which I guess is okay but. It's your birthday, you do what you want. I got so, do you know what, the past few days I've been getting so much stuff in my eyes they really hurt, but um, yeah. Aiden is the most like reckless driver. Not reckless. We're running late. He's just quite. Oh, did you see the baby lamb? Oh my god, stop! It's so cute. Um, he's just a bit. And the cow. The here, there, they're... and everywhere. These are big cows. Who's the cows? Look at them. Are they men. They're boys. He's they're balls. You got a big old slum. Aiden. I don't think you guys even saw, but um, yeah. Catch up when we were at the zoo and hopefully we can get a nice ice cream at the zoo. Yeah. And go to the gift shop. I might write it somewhere so I don't forget. You guys, this is the Exmoor beast. <laughs> he doesn't look too scary, he's but I'm fantastic. sure if the glass wasn't in front of us, we'd be um, he looks scary. a little bit scary. Scar yeah, I guess he does look a little bit scary. His spots. Yeah. He looks so cool. Oh, he's just a leopard. Yeah. So we're currently at the zoo. We've just seen the ex small beast, and we're currently just walking around. It's been really nice to come to the zoo because it's so nice and quiet. Because um, obviously, firstly, COVID, and secondly, we've come during school time. Um, so yeah, it's basically like you have the whole zoo to yourself, which is great. A new guinea singing dog. I don't know if you guys can see him. There's my hand. Nah. So as you guys know, we were meant to be going to Australia. It's in like a month we were meant to be going. But uh, we have some wallabies here. So this is our Australia this year. We'll go again next year. But also there's an alpaca or a llama over there. I think it's an alpaca. Aiden thinks the same. So let's go see if we're correct. Because I feel like everyone always gets confused. Let's go slowly. Guys, we've just um, got an ice cream. But there's a peak. Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh my god. I'm a bit concerned really. You've been so close to a peacock. I know. I'm always going to turn around. You guys ready? That is impressive. Imagine seeing that in the wild. Wow. That must be heavy. So we've just stopped off for a little snack break. I have a twister. Aiden got a what is it? Ben and Jerry's cookie dough piece pop. And we also picked up, if you guys ever come, that would be the peacock. Um, if you guys ever come to Exmoor Zoo, these cookies, May Ma bake. Mary Bake, oh. Spotty Cookie is incredible. They had a triple chocolate cookie, which I definitely think we should get on our way out. Yeah. You have to walk through there to go out. For the gift shop, I think we should pick some up. Yeah, we're having a lovely day. The sun is shining. It's very nice and warm. It's going great. You guys, look how cute. Making me miss my cat. She's so cute. I'm guessing it's a girl. I have no idea. It's a Marge. No. Currently in the tropical house, and we found some turtles. And fun fact: there's one swimming. You guys see him? It's kind of hard my reflection, isn't it? But Aiden and I really want to get turtles one day. We'd love to get them now, but we don't really have the space for them. And obviously normally, where we go like in between houses, 
But I think maybe when we move out, who knows? We've just finished at the zoo. It is so hot. It says it's only 10 degrees outside, but obviously I think where the sun's been in the car, it is so friggin' warm. We didn't really know what we wanted to do. We were gonna go to the beach in this area, but I don't think there's really a lot to do near the beach. And then we just kind of like mapped the way home because it's now 2.15 and it was gonna take us past Western Supermare, which me and Aidan were meant to go to at the end of last year. Um, so we're gonna go to that beach instead. And I know my friend Amber, she um, told me when we were meant to go, there's a really good ice cream place there and it's really nice. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see, we're gonna get there at like 10 to four. So we don't really know like what's gonna be open. Um, but we'll go see, spontaneous. If there's nothing open, then there's nothing open, but at least we've been. We just got to the pier and everything's shut, obviously, because of COVID. We're gonna go get a nice late lunch whilst being here, because we haven't really to. had substantial food today. We haven't, we had, we um, had the cheese and so yeah. the chicken and mushroom. I don't really know what we're gonna do. Here's the beach, a nice sandy beach. And um, yeah, it does look really nice. turned out to be a lovely day. I thought it was gonna be a bit worse the weather but it's literally like 17 degrees and uh yeah it's great look at this on my birthday don't know how it always happens but the weather is always great on my birthday we're currently out for i mean it's technically dinner time i would say more so it's 4 15 and we came to bistro pierre and we have some garlic prawns and some calamari and I'm very excited for this. We did want to sit upstairs, but um, it's only for Pekin's only. We obviously didn't book, so. But anyway, we're going to enjoy this. Wait, should we do a taste test? I'm going to do the prawns. First. Oh my God, these look incredible. The batter seems great on this. Oh, wow. yeah. Those are like crispy, Aiden. Try this. Right, that was the garlic prawns, guys. This is a calamari. Probably the best calamari I've had. I was literally just about to say that. These are our mains and this smells incredible. I've got the vegetable tagine. Aidan got some dough for potatoes on the side and he also got a, it's called the French burger. They just look great. Should we do another taste test? Yeah. I'm gonna steal one of Aidan's chips as well because it's my birthday. Oh my God. Good chips. They're great. I don't know what to do. Should we go for a bit of couscous with a bit of... This is so up my street. Do you want to try some? Is it nice? Mm. Oh my god, it's great. How's your burger? Mm, really nice. juicy. Is it a good burger? Mm -hmm. Do you want to try some of this now? Mm -hmm. Really nice couscous. It's great. Oh my god, you have to get this. So guys, we just got home. We have a little Maisie May. And my mum has put balloons in my room. I just said to Aiden, I think at some point in the near future, these number balloons are gonna have to stop because they're just gonna start getting bigger and bigger and older and older. But I'm very happy. No, come back, love me, it's my birthday. Let's have cuddles. Look how cute we are. Super. I did come up here for a wee and to get changed to tracking. Look at my makeup. I look like I've been having some rough time. But, oh, okay. Never mind, but cute balloons. They, they're so nice, silver. Yes. She'd also put up a happy birthday, but it's fallen down. And I think this package here is from Amber. These are the flowers my dad bought me that are now dead. <laughs> oh, Aiden, look. They're doing good. And these are flowers Aiden bought me. Next to my vision board, right? I look so rough, I need to. Yeah, nice. Right guys, this is my cake. It's Colleen. Quite controversial right now, but. <laughs> With little Colleen. It had to be done. Well, to be honest, we were meant to have Minnie's cookies sent as well. Yeah, I've ordered them. To surround the Colin, but they never turned up. So I'm really we've got little Colin cupcakes instead and he's proper he's the proper colleague he's a proper, <laughs> controversial but it's okay <laughs> so i've just been downstairs we did the cake and i also opened up my presents from my mum and she did very well there will be a 
what I got for my birthday. I don't know if it's already up or if it's going to come after this vlog. However, I am going to end this video now because I don't know what the actual time is. I think it's... So 20 past nine and I think we're literally gonna chill for the rest of the evening because even though I didn't drive I'm so drained but I just want to say a massive thank you to anyone that wished me a happy birthday today I've really had a great day so yeah hope you all did enjoy this vlog and subscribe and I'll see you all very soon with a new one